This is my home file server. I built it about a year ago to store all of my photography and videography work, as well as my music and some other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, the server is housed in a Supermicro SC846, which is a 4U rack mount chassis with 24 front-loading drive bays. I went with the Supermicro chassis over the competing Norco chassis, the RPC4224, primarily for the build quality. Uh, the Supermicro chassis retails for around $1,000 US dollars, but they come up on eBay quite frequently for much less. In fact, I was able to get mine for about $200 US dollars. The server runs free NAS and hosts about 110 terabytes of total storage, 100 terabytes of which is configured with 3x2 parity redundancy. It has 25 spinning platter hard drives, 3 SSDs, and a 4-core 8-thread Xeon running at 3.7 gigahertz. It consumes between 350 and 450 watts and produces a fair amount of heat. Normally in a machine like this, that heat would be managed by a bunch of powerful high-speed fans. The system would be installed in a data center and the noise from those fans wouldn't be an issue. My server, however, sits in my home office, so excess noise is definitely an issue. In my system, there are 10 total fans controlled via pulse width modulation, or PWM. They're automatically spun up or down based on the temperature of the drives and of the CPU. This control is achieved via a Perl script created by Stux on the FreeNAS forums, and there's a link to that script in the description text below. The script varies the fan's duty cycles between 40 and 100%. Currently, the fans are running at 40%, or about 1300 RPM, and the noise output is, as you can hear, pretty reasonable. Drive temperatures are currently between 28 and 35 degrees Celsius. CPU temps are between 35 and 40 degrees Celsius. Ambient room temperature is about 22 degrees Celsius, or 72 degrees Fahrenheit. A sound level meter on my phone, which is about three feet from the server, same distance as the microphone is from the server, reads about 40 decibels. Also note that I have my main desktop computer running in the chassis above the server, but it doesn't produce very much noise. It's tough to convey levels of loudness through recording, but to help put the noise level into perspective, I'll manually spin the fans up to 100% now. Clearly this is quite a bit louder and would be very distracting in an office environment. My sound level meter now reads 55 decibels. Let's go back to 40%. In order to maximize the airflow while keeping the fans at a relatively low RPM, I've made some modifications to the server chassis. Let's take a look inside. The first modification was replacing all of the stock fans with quieter ones. The chassis comes with five 6300 RPM 80 millimeter fans. There's three on the main fan wall behind the hard drives and two exhausting air out of the back of the case. The CPU cooler is typically a passive heat sink that uses airflow from the 80 millimeter chassis fans. I replaced the rear 80 millimeter fans with 1800 RPM Noctua fans. Instead of a passive CPU cooler, I installed a Noctua NH-U9DX-I4, which uses two 1600 RPM fans. These four fans usually sit at around 1200 RPM and typically have no trouble keeping the CPU under 50 degrees Celsius at those speeds, even with a decent load, several VMs running, a scrub going, etc. Next, I removed the stock fan wall with its three 80 millimeter fans and installed three 120 millimeter 3000 RPM Noctua fans in its place. Luckily, the space occupied by the fan wall is almost exactly 360 millimeters wide, so the 320 millimeter fans were nearly a perfect fit. There was, however, some space between the top of the fans and the bottom of the chassis lid that I had to seal up with a strip of wood and some duct tape. If this gap was left open, air would spill back over the fans from the CPU side to the drive side instead of being drawn through the drives. The sides of the chassis have ventilation holes between the fan wall and the drives to help prevent the stock high-speed fans from starving. 
With lower speed fans, this isn't a concern, so I sealed these up with masking tape. Now all of the incoming air has to be drawn through the drive bays. The redundant power supplies that come with the chassis are also quite loud. Thankfully, Supermicro sells replacement power supplies, which are significantly quieter, specifically model number PWS-920P-SQ. I got a pair of these power supplies on eBay for around $250. The primary storage pool on my server runs on the 24 drives in the front loading bays, but I also have an extra drive mounted inside the chassis for scratch storage, stuff that doesn't need to be stored with redundancy on the main pool. That drive is mounted to a tray that sits right up against the back of the power supplies on the inside of the chassis and tends to get much hotter than all of the front mounted drives. The fan control script goes off the maximum drive temperature, so the scratch disc kept the fans running faster than they would otherwise. To help keep this drive cool, I drilled new holes in the drive tray to give a bit of space between the back of the drive and the chassis wall. I also cut a small hole in the side of the drive tray and mounted a little blower fan blowing into the hole so that air would circulate behind the drive. I did have to cut away a portion of the SSD mounting tray to accommodate the blower fan. I'm not really sure if the blower fan with its 4 CFM of airflow makes any difference, but it was a pain to get in there so I'm going to leave it. In fact, I ended up just modifying the fan script to ignore the temperature of this scratch disc, but I keep an eye on the temperature manually to make sure it's not burning up. The most significant modification I made to the chassis was the installation of a front shroud or bezel that allows me to mount 340mm 3000 RPM fans, also Noctua, which blow air into the drive bays. I designed this fan shroud in SketchUp and had it 3D printed in PLA. The front fans are powered via a PWM cable that I ran through one of the side ventilation holes near the fan wall. I had to disconnect the plug on one end of this PWM cable to feed it through the vent hole, but this is pretty easy to do with a small screwdriver. I used some weather stripping from the hardware store to seal the gap between the fan shroud and the chassis, and then installed some fan guards to keep fingers and dog noses from getting nipped. Everything is secured in place with zip ties to allow for relatively easy removal and reinstallation. I have a link to the 3D model of the fan shroud in the description text below if anyone's interested. This fan shroud has had by far the most significant impact on overall noise level. Before installing the shroud at an ambient room temperature of 22C, 72F, the fans would need to run at about 2100 RPM to keep the drives at a reasonable temperature between 30 and 40 degrees C. In the summer months, ambient room temperature would increase and so would fan speeds, up to about 2500 RPM. Even though there are more fans with the front shroud, the system is now quieter overall. Fewer fans running at a higher speed to produce a given airflow rate will typically be louder than more fans running at a lower speed to produce that same airflow rate. For example, I'll go ahead and disconnect the front fan shroud. and spin the fans up to 2100 RPM. This fan speed produces the required airflow to keep the temperatures reasonably low. The sound level meter on my phone reads about 43 decibels. I'll ramp the fans up to 2500 RPM now. The meter now reads 45 decibels. Now at full speed, the meter reads 50 decibels. With the fan set back down to 1300 RPM and the fan shroud still disconnected, the meter reads 37 decibels. Reconnecting the fan shroud. It reads 40 decibels. It's worth noting that the maximum total chassis airflow after these modifications has significantly increased compared to the stock configuration. 
At the same time, total maximum noise output has been roughly cut in half. Each of the five stock 80 millimeter fans, when spun up to their maximum 6300 RPM, will produce 51 decibels, meaning the total noise output from all five of them peaks at 58 decibels. Each of these five 80 millimeter fans move 90 cubic feet per minute of air, or CFM, giving us a total of about 450 CFM. Compare this to the total maximum noise output of my configuration, about 55 decibels, and the sum of the peak airflow of all of the fans at about 944 CFM. Obviously these calculations don't align exactly to real world results. Actual airflow and noise level vary with air pressure, among other things, but it still serves to demonstrate the effectiveness of these modifications. If you're planning a system build in an SC846 chassis, or maybe you already have one deployed and find it too noisy, you might consider some of these modifications. Here's a quick summary of the changes I've made to my chassis. I replaced all of the internal fans with quieter models. I rebuilt the central fan wall with 120 millimeter fans and sealed the gap between the top of the new fans and the bottom of the chassis lid. I sealed all the ventilation holes on the sides of the chassis. I replaced the two power supplies with quieter models. I modified the mount for the scratch disc to increase airflow behind it, but again, I'm not really sure if this actually did anything. And finally, I made a front fan shroud to mount 340 millimeter fans blowing into the drives. I have a link in the description text below to a detailed article about my server if you're interested in learning more. My email address is on that page. Please feel free to get in contact with me if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.